in awe. I really was. I, I just, I, it, it was, I, I really liked it. It's an amazing play because when you leave, you're we're still having a conversation about it. It wasn't wrapped up in a, in a tiny little bow. It is really food for thought. It's darker, richer, uh, uh, and more in engaging than it's ever been. I mean, it's, it's really what has to happen in the theater. It, you, playwrights and plays require this process to really go deeper and deeper, and this is a perfect place for it to be. It's one of the best ensembles I've ever worked with, and I work with my own theater company. But there wasn't a weak, there isn't a weak link in the cast, and that is so wonderful because they really honor the text. And it was, you know, except for this one, but we won't talk I about that. Slides up every night. There's an imagination at work in the play that is so unique and exciting and theatrical. Um, Rajiv is dealing with political ideas, but also with social ideas and very humanistic ideals in ways that are deep and rich and theatrical. And when you find that, you have to do something with it. In my, I've never thought of it as a war play. Um, I think it's more of a ghost story. And it deals with these themes of existentialism and philosophy and the afterlife and questions that are always relevant and have always been relevant. You cannot believe that somebody put these ideas together and put all this 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 um, this drama in this lyrical, beautiful way. And I told Rajiv one day, I was like, dog, you are like, you're brilliant, you know? And um, I, I just feel blessed. It was, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal thing to do. Working with Moises was uh, a privilege. He's a wonderful director. I learned a lot. It's always good. We have a wonderful cast. We enjoy one another, working with one another, hanging out. This was the first play that I read that really transcended politics and and that's what really drew me to it. I think that a, a writer has a responsibility to like, pay attention to the things that uh, fascinate him and concern him or her and, um, and that's what I try to do. I, I certainly don't think that there are certain topics that are more important than others. Um, I just kind of try to pay attention to those things that grab my, uh, my attention and then follow them.